Nine minutes gone, Bournemouth second corner on this near right side, goalless in the early stages of this FA Cup fourth round tie. And it comes from Brooks, the header from Billing, it hits the post and cleared away down this left-hand side by Crawley. Well, it didn't have a lot of power behind it from Phil Billing, but it did have direction. Morris diving full length and it bounced back off the right-hand upright on the uh, edge of the technical area, his navy blue Crawley coat. Lee Bradbury going to Brit Braver, he's just got a, a black gilet on over a tracksuit top as the ball is with Dan Juma here, approaching the Crawley penalty here. Joshua King's back for Jack Wilshere with a shot! Oh, Jack Wilshere! Of course you can write the script in his first FA Cup appearance since the 2015 final. Scores his first goal for the best part of three years, just the ninth of his long career, and his first in Bournemouth colours. It will mean the world to Jack Wilshere. It's Bournemouth 1, Crawley 0. Ball to the edge of the penalty area. Knocked over the top by Matthews into the Crawley box. Opportunity at the back post here. And this time it is an equaliser. And it's tucked in at the back post by Nichols. Denied a moment ago in a penalty decision. This time he pops up to the Crawley level. And suddenly the giant killing act is on again for John Yem's side. 1-1. One, one. Is this one going to be the exception with a trip to Burnley for the winners? Dan Juma, little one too, left side of the penalty area. Goes past an extra challenge, Dan Juma knocks it in for King, shoots low. Joshua King finds the back of the net. Three and two in this season's FA Cup for Joshua King. Made by Dan Juma, fired home by the Norwegian international. And in the end, Bournemouth only found themselves pegged back for the best part of seven minutes. It's 2-1. Yeah, excellent work. Dan Juma again, that puts him into the man and match category for me at this moment in time anyway. And he just, just let it run for Kingy to smash it in the net.